Chicken and Wise. All right, what's up, guys? We're gonna try here, do a little vlog test right here with the new Sony ZV-E1. Hopefully, you can hear me. I have the little Sony mic. I'll take a picture of the setup I have. So we're gonna try this new camera riding little one wheel right here, action right here. Hopefully I don't fall and bite it and break my new camera, but we're gonna try it out. All right. All right, the cool thing now, I can actually see myself while I'm recording because I'm used to having the GoPro and I can barely see myself with the little screen uh, this time I have the flip out screen so I can see over here. So we're going to try right here. Right now I have a dynamic stabilization on. Should be on. So it has a little crop on it. But I'm using a 14 millimeter G Master lens. And uh, we're going to see how good this does. And see how good this, the footage is stabilized. And I'm going to try to do this with not falling and breaking my new camera. The sun's going down over there. You can still see. Hopefully you guys still hear me and not that much of wind noise because you know I am on the one wheel board right here. Here it is right here. That's pretty scary doing that right now. You know when I use the GoPro, I don't really care. Well I do care, but I try not to, uh, um, what's it called? When I'm recording, I'm in my back of my head is like, well, if I fall and break this GoPro, it's only going to be like 300 bucks. Now with this camera, it's like 22, 2300, and with the lens, forget about it. So it is kind of pricey setup, but I want to see if I can vlog doing with the one wheel. So hopefully, you guys can see me pretty good. Pretty nice day. It was raining, showering here and there. But it kind of calmed down now, and it's not so bad now. So far, it looks good on the footage right here on the little camera. I'm on the little screen right here. So we'll see how it looks when we edit. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep riding a little bit more. A little wind right now. So maybe we can see how the, the wind dead cat is going to do. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. Um, Guys, one thing with the GoPro it has the wind reduction thing, and with the little mic that I use on it, it actually does pretty good. So we'll see how this camera does right here. Here I am right here, just cruising along. You guys can see me right here. It's kind of scary doing that. I'm not used to doing that. Usually I have the long extension pole selfie stick so I can see myself from far away so usually I have the long one so I don't have to you know really take my eyes off I can just kind of wave it everywhere I know the GoPro has such a wide angle lens with it especially with the lens mod that it actually uh, you know it gets everything I don't have to worry about it but this is gonna be a quick test I'll try to go over there looking pretty good everything is on automatic right now I don't have anything on other than just turn on the camera, put the dynamic stabilization on, and then uh, put the lens, the 14 millimeter lens. Has the tracking for, you know, human. So hopefully it tracks me even with my helmet on. And um, hopefully it looks good, man. One thing I would say though, um, I think someone pointed out that the thread underneath the, the ZV-1 is so close to the edge, it kind of feels a little wobbly a little bit but we'll see how it goes we're gonna see how far we go before it gets too dark because i don't want to get too dark before i'm heading home and then i won't be able to see really where i'm riding and i want to eat it my new camera let's see if we're gonna take this little route right here this is all through camera right here not doing nothing special just put automatic and record and i'm kind of scared to even jump off this curve right here just because i have my nice camera with me i want to be a double chair 
also also I haven't been really riding I and mean, if you know in California in the Bay Area we've been having a lot of rain lately so I haven't been out riding at all since last I don't know man I will say yeah last year maybe beginning of this year I have to go back and look at the footage but I can never uh, find a good time to go riding the weather started to turn for the better and then a storm comes then for the better then another storm comes so um, you know just fighting it right here let's see if I can find my way back home um, so far so good it looks good let me see I've been recording let me see I can't see where tell me how long it is I'll check later but shouldn't be more than 10 minutes right now so I'm trying to see where I'm at kind of don't know really where I'm at just cruising down the neighborhood hopefully the footage looks good I'm trying to get home now before it gets too dark the sun's going down you can barely see it let's go this way oh yeah I'm going this way right here and uh I would say I would say the flip screen it's it's decent I mean Obviously, I'm probably wearing my lens right now, so for my helmet, so it looks a little darker. Maybe it looks a little brighter without it. But yeah, it's not the brightest of, of screens, but it does the job. I mean, I, to be honest, I've been vlogging always without flip screen. It's never a big issue. I guess some people really, really like it, but in, in my case, it's not a big deal. Just get a wide lens and kind of just frame yourself in it in the middle and then you should be pretty good it'll, it'll pick up everything especially with a 14 millimeter it picks, it picks up everything and even though it's cropping because of the footage of the dynamic civilization i don't know what it converts it to but i'll say 20 or a little less a little a little wider than 20 i think so so we're just saying hi to the neighbors over there and uh we're gonna keep going look at nice park right here it's good. The streets are definitely empty right now. Everybody's watching the game. The Warriors and the Lakers are playing right now. This is more important though, my camera. I'm getting out here and vlogging, getting out here and getting it done. But so far I'm liking it, man. I, I, I'm, I'm liking the wide angle, the 14 millimeter with, with uh, stabilization, even with the crop factor. It's not that much, you know. It, it's it's perfect actually. Not too wide, not too not too zoomed in. It's pretty good. Check it over here. I mean, I am used to having the GoPro and having it way extend out and get a big view, but I mean, this is also awesome too. And this also will test out the low light performance of this uh, camera right here. Um, it's supposed to be a low light beast, they say. That's the main reason why I got it, because I like vlogging in Disney when we go out and lay at nighttime. And the A7 III that I have, that I usually vlog with, not so good on, on low light. This is supposed to be so good, so that's why I got it. So now I got my video camera, and then I got my, my picture camera with the A7 III. Which one day I might upgrade, who knows. But anyways, I'm back home right here, you guys can see. So hopefully that was a good footage. You can kind of see the dynamic stabilization. Quick little ride. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.